Hello guys, in this video I want to review a package that I found, a cool package, it's not new, it was created in 2019 by Proton Media, or specifically this guy, Pascal Ballier, and it is for verifying email when someone changes the email in their profile, because for security reasons it does make sense to reconfirm the email, so the old email in the user's table will not be replaced until someone clicks the link in the email. So by default Laravel has must verify email trait for the default user registration, but this package provides it for update the email. Let's take a look how it works. And in this time I will do an exception and I will do live coding from creating the package from scratch because I want to also showcase one of our packages called Lara Starters to quickly create a Laravel project with some admin panel kind of theme and profile management. That package is free on GitHub and let's take a look how it works. Laravel new project, then we go into that project and we will install Lara Starters. Okay, so CD project, do composer require Laravel daily Lara starters. Then you can choose the theme. So PHP artisan Lara starters install. Then you choose the theme. We have seven themes from what I remember. And first the starter, I choose Laravel breeze and the theme, let it be the default windmill. And then NPM install and NPM run dev will give us the dashboard. So only in a minute or so, I will create a new Laravel project with updating the profile that doesn't come from default Laravel. So I'll wait for NPM to finish and we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so NPM command is successful and when I launch project.test, let's zoom it out a bit, I register and as you can see, the windmill theme is already applied from Lara Starters and the link to Lara Starters will be also in the description below so you can check that out and read more. But meanwhile, let's focus on verifying email and we will do two steps. First step, enable the default verification of email after registration, which comes from Laravel and you can find it in the docs, email verification. Basically, all you need to do is add implements must verify email in the user model. So let's do exactly that. So in the default user model of Laravel, we'll add implement must verify email. And it is also added in here in the use section. Now let's configure the actual email sending. And for that, I will use a service called MailTrap, which basically just receives any email that I send from my Laravel application. And in .env, I configure that mail host is SMTP MailTrap. IO and also I will fill in the username and password from the mail trap in here. And I will use fake filler Chrome extension to fill in this data. And if we register, a few seconds should pass to send the email. I'm at the dashboard and in the mail trap, I see verify email address, which is sent by Laravel. And if I click that, I am inside of the dashboard again, but now I'm a verified user. So this is a step one for those of you who maybe didn't know that Laravel feature. Now let's get into the profile and changing the email. So this one, how to verify that change. Here's where we have the package for that. So let's install composer require, paste. So install the package, then publish the config. Again, copy, paste here. And also we need to run the migrations because it creates a separate database table pending user emails. And by the way, I haven't run migrations at all on this project. So let's run PHP artisan migrate fresh because there was something in the database from what I remember. So we have the default Laravel tables and also one migration for pending user emails. Now we need to configure the usage in the user model. So in addition to must verify email, we need to also use the trait of must verify new email. Let's go back to the user model, which should already recognize by my PHP storm, the new trait must verify new email, which is also added here on top. And now, whenever we update the email, we shouldn't update it immediately. Instead, we should call the user new email function from that package. So in the profile controller, which was generated by the way, by that Lara starters package, it's really simple. So update the user, update their name and email. And here we need to comment out the email and check if auth user email is not request email, which means the email has been changed. Then we do auth user new email. So this one and the parameter is actually new email. So request 
email from here. And now let's see what happens. I have re-migrated the database, so I need to register again. So again, fake filler Chrome extension, register, go to mail trap, verify email address, click verify, and I'm in my profile. Now let's try to change the email to whatever. I will again use fake filler Chrome extension, which will also change my password, but that doesn't matter in this case. And what happens when we click submit? Yes, the profile is updated, but that's kind of a fake message and we would need to change that in the real project. But see, the email has not been changed. Name has been changed, but email didn't change. And in the database, in the users table, we have the email of mailinator.com. And also there is a table of pending user emails, which is another email with user ID and user type. And the actual email in the users table will be changed only when I click the link in the mail trap, which is another new email here. So verify new email address. A few things that you can customize in the config. So there is a config verify new email PHP. And one important thing that I want to customize is where to redirect to after the verification. In this case, I want to redirect back to the profile. Also, there are more settings like whether to log in after a verification and which model to use and a few more stuff. But now let's actually try it out and click verify new email address. And now, as you can see, the email has been changed. And if we take a look at the database again, this is empty now because there is no email pending and the users table refresh. We have the new email updated. So if you want your users to re-verify the email, if they change that again, the package is called Laravel verify new email. And this is how easy it is to use. I've shown you in this video. Also, I've shown you in this video, our package Lara starters, which is free. But if you want more functionality to generate a new Laravel project, we have much more complex and older from 2015. It was created the first version quick admin panel to generate full admin panel with CRUDs and modules and a lot of things with code like this one and customizations. So check out our quickadminpanel.com. And by purchasing that, you're also supporting this YouTube channel because then I can continue shooting free YouTube videos and not spend time on too much marketing of Quick Admin Panel. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.